Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. I'm making a thread sample. Um, the first video we did are thick threads, so we did So Sassy, which is a thirty or a twelve weight, and we did So Fine Thirty, which is a thirty weight. Um, the second set of series um, had our forty weight threads, so we had King Tut, um, Omni, Omni V, Magnifico, and Fantastico. And now we're going to do some of our thinner threads. We're going to do um, Masterpiece, So Fine Fifty. Um, bottom line, micro quilter, and uh, silk. So I'm just gonna keep it going. You'll notice that I've changed because I didn't finish this yesterday. My knee started hurting. I just had knee surgery. So I um, was like, I have to get downstairs. I was going crazy not being able to quilt. So as soon as I was able to get up and downstairs, I came back. Um, all right, I got to set my design up. Let me do that really quick. And I made a dot here yesterday for my top left corner of my design. So I can reposition top left. Again, I'm using my Handy Quilter uh, Infinity with Pro Stitcher. The Pro Stitcher is actually stitching out the same block um, every time. So it it leaves a lot of uh, continuity in the design. So the only difference is gonna be that thread. And I need to be one, two, three over from the right. All right, and um, so I loaded up, this is Masterpiece. <clears throat> this is a 50 weight, um, a 50 weight thread, 100% co um, cotton. Um, this is actually what I do all my piecing with. Um, this is not recommended to, um, the uh, Superior Threads actually doesn't recommend this in a long arm but I have used it. So if you want a thinner 100% um, cotton thread, um, you can try it and if it works for you, it works for you. Um, like I said, I've used it and it worked fine. It's just not recommended by the manufacturer. Uh, we'll mess with the tension to see how we can get this to feel. It feels a little bit tight, so I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit. And we're looking good. Again, same bobbin. Everything else is the same. And why did it not take my new start end? We want it right there. And I'm going to hit run. And Pro Stitcher is going to do its business. I'll fast forward and see you back in a minute. All right, so um, our masterpiece stitched out. It looks pretty good. I'm liking it. We're going to switch to our next thread. Um, what I forgot to do is switch my needle. Um, with When we get start getting into the 50 weight threads, uh, Superior rec recommends a size 16 needle. So we're still going through all of the same, um, all of the same um, thread path up in top, but we want um, a size 16 needle. So I'm going to load this thread up. And I'm loading up so fine, which is a polyester uh, 50 weight thread. This thread is great for on top, but also a great thread to use in your bobbin. So this is what um, where I send new long arm quilters. You know, I um, usually have them use Omni on top. I'll have them use uh, so fine in their uh, yeah so fine in their bobbin when they're first starting out. Um, one, there's a ton of colors to choose from which I really like. And I do know a lot of people who um, stitch with So Fine in the um, top and the bobbin. But um, it because it's a thinner thread than our 40 weights, which most people are using 40 up top, <clears throat> you get more mileage out of it. So if, um, let's say this these 40 weight threads will give you 100 miles on the bobbin, So Fine's gonna give you 150 miles. And it's pretty forgiving. The, um, the the bobbins are easy to wind and everything. So I will send people there. And um, when I'm choosing a color for my bobbin, it doesn't necessarily have to be the same exact color as what I'm using on top, but I'll get kind of the same tone. So I'm using um, this, obviously these are two different colors. This is my bobbin right now. So this is the bobbin for everything that's been going on. And this is the top, if it comes off, if it, if that tension gets off just a little bit, you're not gonna really tell. I mean, if it's eyelashes, you're gonna see see the thread. But if it's um, 
if it gets off just a tad, you're not really going to be able to tell because of the same, they're the same kind of tone. Let's see. Um, I'm going to have to tighten my tension up. Because this is a thinner thread. And it's so weird how thread acts. And, you know, this is the same um, same thickness as that masterpiece. But I, I did have to um, tighten that top tension up quite a bit. And we are tight. So our top tension is good. I'm going to change my start end. Get my next design. I've changed my, I stopped my auto jumps. It auto jumped over here, which I didn't want it to do. So we'll have to, oh, I'll have to trim that thread. Um, all right, I'm going to run this. So this is a polyester so fine. Great for the bobbin. Great on top. Just a great all around, all around. All right, so the so fine is done stitching out. I will bring you up close like I did in the other videos. Um, but to me, same weight thread, cotton, polyester, and this seems so much thinner than this. It just, you just get such a, a, of a perfect look, perfect stitches. I'm still stitching 10 stitches an inch, like I've done with um, all of the other threads except for our uh, Big Fat So Sassy. All right, so next up, we're gonna be using the bottom line. Um, once you get, um, get used to changing bobbins and um, winding bobbins and such, that's when I will send people to start using the bottom line thread. Um, this is also what I use when I machine embroider. Um, I've, I've, back when we got our first um, embroidery machine, um, that's what the people said, like, use the bottom line. It's super thin. You get a lot of thread on your bobbin. And you even just loading the bobbins, you can tell the difference. There's so much more thread. We're continuing with the same thread path. Just pulling everything through. Something feels a little bit tight. So I'm going to loosen my thread, which is interesting. So this is a thinner thread. It's a 60 weight, but it's a different thread type. So it does feel a little bit tighter. So I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit. Um, this does, um, this thread can stretch and it can be a little bit more slippery than a so fine. So sometimes you might need a thread net. I don't in this case, but if you're having some issues with it, maybe try a thread net. All right, so there we have that. I guess I could have put my thread through my needle. Mm -hmm. So if so fine gives you 150 miles, bottom line is gonna give you 200. So you're gonna be able to stitch longer, less, um, less changes in your, uh, in your bobbin. And so I'm slowly changing out and putting, um, using bottom line in most of my projects. I still have a ton of so fine because it is one of my favorite, but, um, I have to admit when I'm doing an edge to edge quilt, I am happy not to change that bobbin. And then, you know, handy quilter just came out with the purple bobbins. Do I have them up here? So these are the, um, the handy quilter purple bobbins. And the difference is they're purple. They're very pretty. So the purple bobbins are now my bottom line bobbins and the silver bobbins, which are the original handy quilter, just silver bobbin, are my so fine um, bobbins. So now I know what is where and I'm not trying to guess what kind of thread is on which um, bobbin. Let's see, we'll have to take our time off. So this is the only case that the same type of thread is on both the um, top and the bobbin. All right, so our bottom line has finished and look at the difference between these two. And 60 weight, 50 weight, but there's such a difference in how they look when they're actually stitched out, um, which is one of the reasons I love to keep one of these thread samples because then I can go back and reference um, reference that look and is that the look I'm going for you know what might I be working on and what might what look might I be trying to um, get there you are and again I'll show you a, up close in a minute let's see so next we're gonna be using our micro quilter micro quilter is a hundred weight so it's super thin um, I'm gonna, we're gonna be able to use the 16 needle. 
if you try micro quilter and you have a 16 needle in there and it's not working quite right, you can, um, or it's not, if something feels wrong, you can try to um, put a 14. So go uh, one size lower. Let's see. It's so thin, I can't even see it. Um, a lot of people who are scared of monopoly maybe will try this micro quilter thread because it is so thin and a little bit easier to work with than the monopoly is. I want to make sure that stayed seated because it is so loose. Um, so if you if you're someone who's like, oh, I really wanted to do monopoly, or I need a thread color that um, that will kind of disappear across a whole bunch of colors, and you just you're not ready to take that monopoly step. Although if you watch the monopoly video, I'll show you how to load it, and um, it's very easy to work with. And once you use it, you're gonna love it. But if that's just not the look you're going for, um, I think it's. Oh man, I'll while it's stitching, I'll look at the color. I believe it is it's the silver in the micro quilter works almost like a monopoly. It will disappear and um looks great going over multiple colors. I'm gonna jump here to here. So um I wanna tighten my thread or my tension from this from the last one. Ooh, that feels good maybe one more i like that i've moved my start <laughs> all right um micro quilter is done i'm gonna do some tie offs here really quick now this just looks like a line it, it's so thin i mean i can see it you can see it on the on the screen but it's definitely definitely not that you know it's not a bright thick line um oh it's, it looks great and that color it's seven zero zero seven um let's see there we are seven zero zero seven this is micro quilter silver it's kind of a silvery taupe um but it is great at just kind of disappearing um the last one in this series is going to be, um, or in this video, is going to be silk. Now, I love using silk thread. I don't use it a ton because it is more expensive than the other ones, but it's just so beautiful. I love these little cones. I mean, they're the cutest thing. And um, it's it's 100 weight as well. So these are both going to be 100 weight threads. This you're going to see more because it is a brighter orange color. But let's find out. Let's see if, let's see if I'm, I might have just lied to you. Maybe you won't. So in case you didn't know, Superior Threads does sell um, cones of the silk thread. Um, this is great. Silk is great to use um, for applique. That's usually that's mostly what I use it for. I'll use it in the long arm in some applications if it's like a very fancy wall hanging that I'm doing for myself or that's going to hang somewhere important. I'm still going through the same thread path. I just tied off and pulled all the way through. We're not gonna have to change that until our next set of threads. Going to down here and here. We're loaded. Um, feels a little bit tight, so I'm gonna back off maybe three numbers. Maybe five numbers. Oh, there we go. And now I am going to change my start point. Run. Let's see. And there was our silk thread. Do a little tie off and move the machine out of the way and then I'll move you close. All right, so don't get dizzy on me. I'm gonna move the camera. So these are the five threads we just did. Um, we have Masterpiece, 100% cotton, 50 weight thread and so fine 50 a polyester 50 weight thread and you can even sit tell same weight but they still kind of have a little bit of a different look when they're stitched out i do find that this looks a little bit thinner um it just gives off a, diff a, a different vibe i say and then we're going to go to our 60 weight thread and this is the bottom line these two both wonderful in your bobbin 
with any of the with any of the threads. Remember, this is what we're using the bobbin for everything. And then these are going to be our two hundred weight threads. We have micro quilter, which is a polyester hundred weight thread, and then we have um, kimono silk, which is a hundred weight silk thread. So let's get we'll get you in close so you can see. Um, this one just has a little bit more of a luster, a little bit more shine than the rest. But those are our thinner threads. And then in the next section, I'm going to be doing uh, monopoly, um, glitter, metallic, and um, a few other fun things. So thank you for joining me. Remember, you can always find me on social media at Adam So Fun. That's S-E-W. Uh, on uh, Facebook and Instagram or AdamSoFun.com. Uh, if you have any questions, do, feel free to send me a message. And um, happy stitching, happy thread loving. And we'll see you back in that next video. Bye.